Hey guys, I'm sitting here with Tommy Maples. How are you doing, Zimbetti? Owner and founder, CEO of Frat Funnels. You know Give that. you guys a little background on Frat Funnels. They've been open only a month and sold 530 Frat Funnels. Uh, he started with only $250. That's mm -hmm. how he opened up his business. Yeah. So Tommy, it's great to have you. I just want to run through some quick questions for you, man. Is that okay? That's fine with me. Perfect. <laughs> So, what is the exact day that you opened up uh, business? Uh, the exact day, honestly, it was last semester I opened up the company, but it was just, I think a month ago, I got an LLC for it. So, maybe I'm thinking, you know, February 20-something, you know, not too long ago. So, I can't remember the exact So, So, um, so since you have an LLC, is that yeah. something like a patent that you have now, or is it just protection purposes? Yeah, it's more protection. It's just, you know, limited liability, so that way if you or Joe Smo, who were to buy my bong, would go and, or beer funnel, I'm sorry, and they would go and, you know, funnel a beer and just choke and die randomly, that way... When their parents get pissed off and come sue me, all I can say is, I'm sorry if any of that happened, I have disclaimers, and if they still want to go after me, then I can just say, take my LLC, it was $170, you can have it. Perfect. Man. Yeah, that's, that's it, yeah. Smart move for sure. Yeah. And what's the size of the business? Are you the only one running it, or are um, you the employees? Yeah, no, I'm the only one running it right now. I mean, like I said, we're a startup company, so we're pretty small, but um, we have had quite a bit of revenue, over five grand in revenue in the past month, which started off with 250 bucks, you know, and I yeah. get them shipped it from China. Here it is right here. You got the um, Garnet funnel, the gold tube, and then you got a valve and it also comes with your frat funnel sticker. Check that out. Yeah. And all that's just a package for 10 bucks. Look at the packaging looks nice too. Did you right. do the packaging yourself? I did everything myself. I got the um, the bags for a bucket dollar store and then I got these. I printed out a Target copy and got 50 of them for 20 bucks. So pretty much, I mean, you know, you're paying cents on the dollar for packaging, and um, I guess since we're doing an interview, I'll tell you right now, my bottom line is for cost of goods sold is three bucks and nineteen cents a piece. So that's not the right? right, and I sell them for ten bucks a piece, and I end up making around seventy percent profit. So that's amazing. Nuts. So yeah. how does it feel not to have to work while you're in college? You get to be your own boss. Right, it's awesome. It's it's a really cool experience. It's a new experience. You know, something that I've I, I've struggled financially with. I try to work as bar back and. and um, you know, that works out in some ways, but in other ways, it's kind of just, it's almost holding me back from what I really want to do. And what I really want to do is be a, you know, entrepreneur, a true entrepreneur. And to do that, you start with the drive, the passion, and some, and the product. And here's my product, and we're going to get new colors coming in pretty soon, too. I've got um, a couple of my friends, you know, Will, he's in Hooligans. Yeah. And um, their, uh, their friend, I guess, Indigo, she's going to go ahead and... Um, actually take photos of these at Tobacco Leaf, which is a head shop around the area. Mm -hmm. And um, she's going to go ahead and we're going to take photos back there where they take pictures of all the pieces that they blow at Tobacco Leaf. And then once I have that, I'll have a better resolution of an image and she'll be able to Photoshop it. And then I'm going to put it on tilt with different colored themes for UCF, UF, Ole Miss, Clemson, wow. and just go up from there. Yeah. Yeah. So... Now, now, would you be able to go on their campus too and well, say we do Market Wednesdays here? Or yeah. How would, you do that? how would you sell over there? What I would do is mostly like, for example, I'm going to start off small with just expanding to two other schools for now, UF and UCF, only because I'm from South Florida. So I have a lot of friends over in Pike at UF and then I have a lot of friends at UCF. So what I would do is I would just front them the funnels and I would... I, Still trying to, you know, make some type of deal with them as far as how much of a percentage you're going to get. Right. But, I mean, 15% off the top, I'm still making, like, you know, 55%, which is over half of what I'm making it for. So Absolutely. It's it's, it's still a, a really good Everyone deal. Everyone wins. Yeah, yeah exactly. The true benefits of an entrepreneur. <laughs> exactly. Everyone wins. Everybody wins. And, you know, it just goes down the line. Mm -hmm. So, eventually, I'm hoping to uh, get that tilt thing done by the end of this week. We're getting photos done tomorrow. And, um... Hopefully you buy some frat funnels online, go to tilt.com, look up frat funnels, and you'll find them all over. Hopefully. So did you build the website yourself, or did um, someone else build it for you? No, I built it. Well, I actually went through Vistaprint, and I just, I think I paid 20 bucks a month, and they let me run it. It's very easy, very simple. They give you themes that you can choose from, and you can customize them all yourself and everything. Okay. So, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hopefully I can, you know, try and get some more... Um, online sponsorships as far as I'm going to try and hook up through Facebook and what Facebook does is they allow you to set up 
within their program to where you can be one of those ads, like say you're scrolling through Facebook and mm -hmm. you like, you know, College Weekly, Toll Frat Move, all these different types of college theme, whatever companies, social media pages. Well, Facebook takes all that big data, they sort it out, and then I tell them what I want. And I say, look, I'm looking to advertise to customers who like college things, customers who like drinking things, and you know, those different types of, I guess, parts of market sharing. So yeah. that once I find them, they'll target you guys, and all they do is they just pay me, or I have to pay them, I think it's two cents I set up, a click. So every time somebody clicks on my link, it's two cents I have to pay to Facebook. But that's two cents in the grand scheme of things, having a potential client who's going to come in and buy a $10 funnel. So, you know, it's really not even a thing. It's just yeah. barely even happening. If you're clicking an ad, you're probably pretty interested in it. Exactly. So you're not going to click on it for no reason. Definitely, man. But, do you plan on being an entrepreneur for life now? Yeah, yeah, I really do, to be honest with you. I kind of want to, obviously, I mean, we'll see how far this takes me. All right, Tommy, so we've talked a little bit. You want to be an entrepreneur for life. Right. Now tell me, what's a day in the life of Tommy Maples like? A day in the life? Um, well, I wake up, I'm a morning person. You know, I don't have curtains in my room, so I just wake up at the sun and then hit class afterwards, hit the gym, you know, get a pump in. And uh, then after I get done with that, it's around, I don't know, 1 o'clock, and I'm ready to start doing whatever I need to do as far as, you know, scholar goes or maybe even work on my business a little but. As I told you before, I, I get my funnels from China, so if I'm talking to anybody of my suppliers in China, it's going to be at like 3 a.m. on Skype, mm -hmm. and you know, I'm having conversations then. Yeah. So, but regardless, it's still, I can you know, send emails to them during the day and things like that and get some things like that done. That's good. So you're getting everything done by 1 o'clock in the day. 100%. That's yeah. huge, man. That's right. huge. Right. And so then after that, I'm just more you know, laid back, and if I get invited to go out, I go out, which is... Pretty much every night. Right right hey, you know, <laughs> yeah. Lockdown, baby. Let's do it. Oh no, that's mine. I'm at recess. Recess. I'm yes. down. Let's I'm go. Down. Let's go. Say, I got the entrepreneur coming out. <laughs> of me. Here we go. I'm down. Um, and then, so what's uh, what's your definition of success? Uh, my definition of success, which I know is isn't really supposed to be a definition of success, but for me, you know, I haven't really grown up with money, haven't had money, so having money is my definition of success. And having money to the point where I can be comfortable, you know, go to the Bahamas whenever I want, spearfish, mm -hmm. that's my point of success. So money equals freedom, man. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. So, um, And then one more question I have for you. What's your vision for the business? Um, my vision for the business, uh, well, it's, it's pretty complicated, but for the most part, it's just expand and... Um, just get different colors for different schools. And then hopefully once I start getting those colors, I can start, you know, going ahead and I guess, I feel like it's almost gonna be a semesterly type deal where every fall and every spring we can get orders in, but when summertime hits, it's not gonna be that prevalent. But uh, hopefully if I could sell, you know, upwards of 500 to 1,000 funnels at say five or 10 different schools every semester, you know, then I'm selling I'm making a pretty good profit. I already told you I make seventy percent off of each yeah, funnel. Yeah. So, and with doing that, I can hopefully try and make you know upwards of fifty grand a year or something if I get to enough schools. And then we can make it residual, right? Like maybe, maybe. maybe. Yeah. And then uh, also, I want to get some new products. Like there's a uh, the chuggler. Have you ever heard of that? No, I haven't. It's like a mug. You take the mug, and then there's a tube that goes underneath the mug, and then the other side of the tube goes up to the handle. Okay. And then it, it's kinked at the bottom so the liquid doesn't come out of the mug. But when you do want to chug whatever's inside the mug, you just take the handle off the, I mean, you take the tube off the handle and you uh -huh. just kink it back and you chug the whole entire whatever's in the mug down. Brilliant. And that's <laughs> it, right? And she can it's make, perfect. my lady over in China make that for three bucks a piece. I'm probably going to sell them for 10 or 15. And I can color theme them too because the tube can be a different color and the mug itself can be a different color. Awesome. So, yeah. Well, so, Tommy, I think as long as, as long as you stay humble and uh, don't get greedy like the other guys who are selling for 15, right. man, you're going you're gonna to make a killing. You're going to crush it, bro. Right. Thank, Thank you, man. Thank you for your time. It's all good talking to you.